Hello everyone, my name is Monica Bhushan and today we are starting lecture number 9 of numerical methods. So in today's class, we are going to see Newton's divided difference method or sometimes we call it Newton's general interpolation method. Okay, so till now we have covered Newton's forward difference formula and Newton's backward difference formula, correct? And today we are going to see Newton's general interpolation formula. So in first lecture only we have discussed right that the differences between all these three methods. So in today's class we are going to see all those data points which are unequally located. Fine no? So we have discussed the theory behind these all things. So I'm not going to again discuss the same thing. We are directly going to jump into the question. Before that, this slide is for the formula. Okay. So this is what? This is interpolation formula for unequal interval. Fine no? For equal interval, we have seen Newton's forward and backward formula. And today we are going to see another method which is Newton's divided difference formula. Okay. So here this is the formula. The formula says that the y is function of x. x is any independent variable. Fine. So y is fx which is f x naught plus x minus x naught so on. So these things uh, we will be discussing everything like what does it mean? What is f x naught and why we are writing it in the form of f x naught x1 and all. So x naught x1 are not two different variables. Okay. So independent variable is x only x naught x1 are you can say that they are two different instances or they are two different arguments. Okay. We will be discussing everything in the question only. So if you want to brush up the theory behind it, you can see the lecture number one. Right. So this is the question. So the question is for Newton's divided difference method. So for that, there are some important properties. Here we are going to see that the question says that construct the interpolation polynomial. Okay. For the data given below using Newton's general interpolation formula for divided differences and hence find y at x equals 3 and x equals 9. So basically three things they have asked. Okay. So in your question paper, they might ask you some simple uh, question that find the value at some data point using Newton's general interpolation formula. But here the very first job is what we have to construct the table for Newton's general interpolation formula. Okay. The second job is what we have to construct the interpolation polynomial. Okay. We will be seeing in the same question how to construct interpolation polynomial. And the third job is what we have to find. We have to find y at x equals 3 and x equals 9. Okay. So, so from the table only you have to understand that okay we are going to use Newton's general interpolation formula because this x has the data points which are 2, 4, 5, 6, 8, 10. That means the interval between them are not equal. What does it mean? That the difference between 2 and 4 is what? 2. Between 4 and 5 is 1. Between 5 and 6 is 1. So they are not equal. Correct? No. So if they are not equal, then we cannot use Newton's forward or Newton's backward interpolation formula. Okay? So here we have to use Newton's general interpolation formula. Okay. Another thing is we are not worrying about the values which are given in the second row. That means we don't have to worry about this 10, 96, 196 and all. Okay. So one thing is sure that we are going to use Newton's general interpolation formula. Another thing is what sometimes they give question in this form that they will not give you this uh, tabular form. Okay. They will be writing down uh, that some values of independent variables are given to you and corresponding dependent variables are also given to you and then you find the value at such and such given points. Okay. So for that case also you should be knowing that what is independent variable and what is dependent variable. X is what? X is independent variable. Okay. X is independent variable and Y is what? Y depends on X. Okay. So Y is what? Dependent variable and you can say that Y is what? Y is function of X. So Y depends on X. Fine. So here is the Newton's general interpolation table or you can say divided difference table. So what does it mean? The table says that here see initially you have just these two, uh, these two columns only. Okay. This x and fx. 
x and y only these two things are given to you okay so what is that just you are writing down these two horizontal thing into the vertical fashion 2 4 5 6 8 10 uh, in this column okay so they are the different arguments or you can say they are the different instances of x x0 x1 x2 x3 x4 and x5 so these points are given fine similarly they have given you y y is nothing but function of x so we are going to write down the values of y 10 uh, 96 and all fine no so these all things we have written down so after that what we are going to do we are going to add another column okay so this column we are going to add the column is what first divided difference okay so this is your first divided difference how to write down it so the concept is same as we have used in newton's forward interpolation table also so what we are doing here we are writing down 96 minus 10 okay 96 minus 10 but in the newton's divided difference table we have to use the numerator and denominator both so in the denominator we are going to write 4 minus 2 okay what does it mean so uh, the reason of writing down in the in this fashion that it depends on 4 and 2 values also because they are not equally distant okay so the distance is not same so we have to consider this gap also so 96 minus 10 that is okay we have written down in between uh, fx0 and fx1 96 minus 10 and then divided by 4 minus 2 that means first divided difference the first divided difference if i show something like this is one block okay the difference between 4 and 2 so we have written down 4 minus 2 okay so this is how much so this is something it is coming as 43 fine after that what we are going to do now this is fx1 this is fx2 so between fx1 and fx2 we are going to write that what this is 196 minus 96 same how we have done in the newton's forward uh, interpolation table also so this is 196 minus 96 but since they are not equally distant so we have to consider the gap also so this is what divided by 5 minus 4 why we have written down 5 minus 4 because now we are considering these two gaps correct no these two things we are considering so this is 5 minus 4 so 5 minus 4 is nothing but 1 so this is 100 similarly we are doing the same thing so 350 minus 196 and then divided by 6 minus 5 and the same way fine so same way we are writing down divided by 8 minus 6 and the similarly here okay fine so this is nothing but your first difference uh, first divided difference so this was quite uh, easy fine so now what we are going to do so since we have seen that these values okay so these values are not same so we are going to use another column the column will be called as second difference second divided difference okay so second divided difference column we have added so uh, how to write down these things again the same fashion right that means whatever you have got here this 43 and whatever you have got here this 100 in between these two values you are going to write down the calculation in the second difference column okay so here what you are writing down the same thing that means 100 minus 43 okay 100 minus 43 now divided by what i have to write this is my second divided difference that means i have to consider the two gaps two blocks okay so this was your first block this was your second block this is your second divided difference so you are considering instead of just one block what you have considered here now you are considering these two correct no so you are considering these two things correct so for that two blocks you are considering okay so for that you are writing down 5 minus 2 okay so for second divided difference column you have to write 5 minus 2 so you have written down 5 minus 2 and then it is coming as 19 okay now after that what you are doing after that what i have to do is now i have to consider 100 and 154 these two things so between these two calculations i am going to add another calculation which will be what which will be 154 minus 100 that is okay 154 minus 100 is okay but what will be in the denominator in the denominator in my second divided difference i have to consider what i have to consider two blocks fine no so the block will be what from here till here okay this is nothing but 6 minus 4 so this is your 6 minus 4 okay similarly what we have to do now you are going to consider these two values so that means 259 minus 154 
but in the denominator in your second divided difference column what we have to use you have to consider now two blocks these two blocks we are considering okay so we are starting from 5 till 8 so this is nothing but 8 minus 5 okay similarly if i am considering these two things so i have to consider what i have to consider in the denominator i have to consider again two blocks so these two blocks will be your uh, these two blocks will be from your uh, 6 to 10 fine so 10 minus 6 okay now after that what i am going to see here now i have to check that whether the values which have come that means 19 27 35 45 they all are not same if the difference still is there so i am going to add another column that will be called as third divided difference fine so this third divided difference will be what in your third divided difference again you are going to consider the first two uh, values so these two values are okay that is your 27 minus 19 but what about the denominator so in the denominator in your third divided difference column you are going to consider three blocks so this is your first block second block third block that means from 2 till the third block is here correct no so this is your from 2 till 6 fine so this only we are the so this only we are writing down here 6 minus 2 similarly for your 35 minus 27 right in between you are going to write down the calculation so 35 minus 27 and in the denominator again three blocks so three blocks will be what so very first we have already considered so this is your these three things that means 4 till 8 so that means 8 minus 4 similarly for your 35 minus 45 uh, that means 45 minus 35 divided by three blocks you have to consider so three blocks will be what so this will be your 5 and then 10 so 10 minus 5 fine in this divided difference table students generally get confused to write down the denominator part okay the numerator part is quite easy because you have uh, done this practice for newton's forward and backward difference table also so consider the denominator part what to what to do for the first difference table that is okay that is uh, quite easy right now so you can write down 4 minus 2 then 5 minus 4 then 6 minus 5 so these things are okay so to write down the denominator of your second divided difference table what you have to write down here that you are going to write this diagonal value okay that means 5 minus 2 5 similarly for 6 minus 4 what you are writing down here now this is your 6 minus 4 this diagonal 6 minus 4 you are doing Similarly, here what you are writing down 8 minus 5, this diagonal thing, x, uh, that means 8 minus 5. Similarly, what you are writing down here, between these two you are considering here, correct? No, so just consider the diagonal thing, that means 10 minus 6. 10 minus 6 we have done. Similarly, here also you are doing the same thing, the diagonal part you are writing down. So, this is what? 6 minus 2. Similarly, this is your what? 8 minus 4, 8 minus 4. And then this is your 10 minus 5. So, this is your 10 minus 5. Okay. So, whichever way you find easy, you just uh, write down this part, but be careful to write the denominator part because I have seen many students uh, have done mistake in this uh, denominator part only. Another thing is you are not going to add fourth divided difference column because you are seeing that all values are same. Okay, if all values are same, then you have to stop. No need to add another column because, because the difference is not there. Okay, so now what we are going to do? We have the Newton general interpolation formula. The formula we have to write down here. The same thing which you have seen in the first slide. So this is for the first term. This is just f x naught. The second term this is your x minus x naught, and then f x naught x one. Right? F x naught x one was what? F x naught x one is your this one. This forty three. Okay. Similarly, for your second term, this is your x minus x naught x minus x one, and then function x naught x1 x2 function if x naught x1 x2 is what this is your 19 okay what you are going to use from this divided difference table is what you are going to consider these first values okay from your first divided difference column 43 from your second this is the first value and for your third divided difference column this is the uh, first value so only these three values you are going to use in the formula and if it's not also you have to use in the formula okay so if i have to use only these three values only these uh, first values then why i'm doing these many calculations correct no when these values you will be getting then only you will come to know that whether you have to add another column or not because if the differences are there the values are not same then you have to use the second 
column okay still if you have found that the differences are there fine differences are there in between that means that means 19 27 35 45 these values are not same so you are going to add another column now after calculations once you have seen that all values are same then you have stopped here only so so these calculations will only let you know that you have to add another column or not fine okay so now what we are doing here so we are just putting the values here fx not is 10 fine no fx not is 10 so 10 is written here now x minus x naught x naught x1 x2 these are what these are x1 x2 x3 these are your 4 5 6 and all these values are there fine no 4 5 fine so we are just putting these values we are writing as it is x and the very first values in our uh, different columns we have written down here and after that it will be zero because the difference later on will be zero so we are not adding after that correct and then what is happening here you are going to simplify this complete term that means 10 plus x minus 2 and then x minus 2 you have taken common here right x minus 2 you have taken common so 43 plus now this is 19x okay 19x minus 76 and similarly x minus 2 is common so x minus 4 into x minus 5 is written down here 2 is present here so now you have done the calculation and then finally you have got this as the polynomial fine okay so second job is done right the third job is what they are asking the value of y or you can say the value of fx at x equals 3 and x equals 9 okay so if they are asking the value of y for more than one data point so better to use this polynomial another way to get the values at x equals 3 and x equals 9 uh, is what instead of x you could have written down 3 right instead of x you could have written down 3 only so in that case your calculation will be much higher okay and then for getting the value of y at x equals 9 again you have to put the value of x at 9 again you have to put values of x at 9 and then too much of calculation will be required so instead of going into that detail you write down the general form that means the polynomial form write down x as it is and now when you have to find x when you have to find y at x equals 3 you put here on the x as 3 okay and then if i have to find y at x equals 9 here you put x as 9 and then you will get two different values fine so whenever they are asking the value of y at more than one data point it's always better to write down in the polynomial form and suppose if they had asked only the value of y at x equals 3 so better you go for this putting uh, the value of x3 here only that is also okay okay so finally we got these two values only fine so this way we estimate the value at some unknown data point okay when some given data points are present and those given data points are not at the equal interval so we opt for newton's general interpolation formula fine so if you find this class useful please like and subscribe my channel thank you